This Medical Minute, sponsored by Avera. This coming Saturday will kick off National Endometriosis Awareness Week. It's a holiday that aims to raise awareness about this painful condition that can be hidden and often unrecognized. Dr. Katherine Brockmeyer with Avera Health provided us with some more insight. Dr. Brockmeyer, what is endometriosis and who does this impact? That's a great question. So endometriosis is actually more common than probably most people know. Um, it impacts about one in 10 women, maybe a slightly higher number, so 10 to 15% of the population. Endometriosis is when the cells th that line the inside of the uterus start to grow outside of the uterus. Most commonly, they'll grow on other pelvic structures, so um, on the outside lining of the uterus, on the ovaries, on the fallopian tubes, on the ligaments that support all of those structures. Um, it can actually grow outside of the pelvis as well and start to coat other structures in your abdomen, including your bowel, your diaphragm, and other major organs. So it could certainly vary in terms of being obvious to know if you do have it or maybe less obvious in some cases, is that right? You're absolutely right. So some women are completely asymptomatic and have endometriosis. Others may have a range of symptoms. It can present dif differently in each patient. Um, and so if you have a symptom that's bothering you, it's certainly important to bring it up to your physician. And what kind of treatments would be available as options uh, to deal with this? Yeah, so back to the symptom type stuff. So what patients will typically, before we talk about treatment, but what, what they will typically present with is um, chronic pelvic pain. They may have um, debilitatingly painful periods. So different than most women who will experience some cramping with periods, they will have um, pain that affects them to the point that they need to miss work or school. Um, they also may have infertility. Um, someone with endometriosis, their main complaint will be pain with intercourse. And so if those are something that you are experiencing, you certainly should bring this up with your physician. Anything else that you would like to add? Obviously, this is something that continues to be prevalent and is something that we continue to need to discuss and kind of have that conversation. Is there anything else that people should be aware of or just be privy to with this? Yeah, I mean, I think just knowing that there are a variety of treatments out there for them is really important. Um, each doctor may have a different recommendation. And so um, visiting with yours specifically about your concerns and our recommendations really tailor to what your primary concern is. Um, sometimes we do some imaging studies. Sometimes we'll recommend surgery to diagnose it. And then we always move back to the mainstay of medically treating endometriosis. Dr. Brockmar, thank you very much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thanks. And for more information, you can head over to avera.org slash medical minute. We'll be right back.